What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and in this video we're going to talk about how to eat healthy when you work all the time. All right guys, as we dive into how to eat healthy when you work all the time, there's two things I wanna do. One is I wanna explain what healthy means because you need to understand that healthy is relative. So I'm gonna break down what you should really be focusing on and that's not just healthy. And once I do that, then I'm gonna give you two practical tips of how to actually eat healthy, quote unquote, for your body with the short amount of time that you have available. All right, first off, you need to understand what healthy means. Now, when we say the words quote unquote healthy, that can actually be a really confusing thing because if you Google healthy foods, if you Google articles about what your health should look like, you're gonna get a million different answers. A lot of it is because fitness and supplements and coaching companies are marketing their version of healthy so that they can sell their product. And so it can get really confusing of like, is carnivore healthy? or is vegetables healthy, but don't eat vegetables because then you're not getting enough meat. Don't eat meat because you're, you know, there's, it goes back and forth and you can get really confused by this process. So I wanna encourage you to take a step back and say, huh, what does my body need? Instead of, oh, I should follow this trend. I need to do 75 hard, that's how I get healthy. Or I need to do carnivore diet, or I need to do keto, or whatever it is, I need to be vegetarian. There's a million paths you can take. And the problem with that is, if you don't understand what your body needs, you're just gonna be guessing. And so the first encouragement I wanna give you is to take a step back and not try to follow all the trends, because it can get really confusing. And honestly, the articles and the data change all the time, like milk's great for you, milk's bad for you, uh, veggies are good for you, veggies are bad for you, you only need meat, you should all, you know. Honestly, it gets really confusing, even for me as a health professional, I'm like, where do these people even get this information? It was different yesterday. So instead of stressing out about that, my biggest encouragement is to step back and realize that healthy, quote unquote, is relative. Now, there's some overarching principles that will always stand the test of time. Like you need to stay hydrated. Your body needs sleep. Your body needs protein. Your body needs fuel. Like there's some certain things that are unarguable. There's never gonna be a study that says you don't need water. But there's other things that based on case by case scenarios and based on your specific body might change. So healthy for you is relative. Now let me give you a really funny example of this. If I were to ask you, are these foods healthy? And I say, sweet potatoes and broccoli, would you say yes? Would you say those are healthy? You watching this, you're probably like, yeah, those are decently healthy foods, they seem right. You know, all the coaches and all the health people say, you know, those are really good carbs and good vegetables, right? Like, what if I told you that recently I took a test for my body, a gut health test, and the top two foods that it said for me not to eat or what's quote unquote not healthy for my body, you wanna know what they were? Sweet potatoes and broccoli. Pretty crazy, right? Like those are healthy foods that are supposed to be good for everybody that weren't necessarily good for me. Now, the importance of understanding that is one, Every body is different. So your body needs something different than my body. Your body has deficiencies that maybe I don't have and vice versa. There's things that you need that I don't need. There's things that you don't need that I do need. And so there's specific tests that you can take and information you can start to get on yourself that allows you to really figure out, hey, regardless of what the whole society you know, is telling me to do today, what does my body actually say based off of data? And it might be like me that you find out that really healthy foods aren't that good for you. And it doesn't mean those foods aren't nutrient dense and quality foods, it just means my body doesn't respond well to it. And so the overarching opinion or the thought process I wanna give you before we dive into practically how to eat healthy when you work all the time is that healthy is relative. Healthy depends on you. And the best way to figure out what healthy means for you is to get testing done. And I'm gonna give you a free resource at the end of this that talks about how to get that testing done and where you can do that and the easiest way to do that. So uh, look forward for that. But getting that testing done will tell you, hey, what are my hormone issues? What nutrients am I deficient in? What types of foods like I saw does my gut maybe not respond well to? That data simplifies this process so that if you do work all the time, you don't have to guess. You don't have to figure out, oh, is this bad for me? Should I be following this thing? You just know exactly what to do. Awesome, so now that you know, first off, what healthy means for you and also how to figure that out with testing, which again, I'll give that free resource to you in the description below if you just wanna skip forward and download that now, give you some next steps. But let's break down what you actually do with that information. If you are working all the time, how do you actually do this? Get great results, save a lot of time. Okay, so I'm gonna break this down into two steps. I've kind of already given away the secret first step of our three-step process that we teach our clients, which is testing of like, hey, if you get data, you can make good decisions. And it really saves a lot of the thinking and the effort and the guessing and the really slow progress that you would be getting if you didn't have testing, which side note, I look at testing kind of like a Lego set. And if I try to build the Lego set without instructions, can I do it? Sure. 
100% you can, but will it make it more difficult? Yeah, it's gonna take longer, you'll probably mess up a lot, and it's gonna be a little more frustrating. It's the same thing with testing. Testing are like your instruction manual. If you'll get that testing, you'll get that data, it tells you exactly what to do step by step so that you know what your body needs and you're not having to go through the frustrations of, dang it, that piece doesn't go there. It should be able to save you time. So that's the first key. But let's break down two practical steps you can take once you have data and you know what your body needs. And it's these two things, it's protocol, and autopilot. This is something we teach all of our clients is once you get data, once you get testing done, is you need one, a protocol. You need a customized game plan for your body, for your goals, that even if you're working all the time, you can implement something really quick that gets you really good results. And so what should your protocol look like? There's a couple things that you really wanna focus on. One, you wanna know what you're eating on a day-to-day -day basis. Pre-planned, pre-decided so that you're not thinking about it. You need to know how you're moving your body, how much and how often. Number three is your supplementation. What supplements, what vitamins, what am I taking on a daily basis to supplement my diet? Because you might be, when you look at that testing, you might be deficient in some areas. Like me, I'm deficient in vitamin D. And so I can either go spend a lot of time in the sun or I can take a vitamin D supplement or both if I really want to maximize that. You understanding with that data and having a pre-planned supplement protocol is going to help you get really good results with really short time that you have if it's already pre-planned. Some other things you want to look at is like sleep and recovery. That's a really important thing as a busy person. If you're working all the time, you need to prioritize sleep and recovery. That's the best tool you can use to accelerate your health and to get really good results is just to sleep. If you're stressed all the time, if you're not recovering, you're never gonna get the health and the results that you're wanting. So once you have this protocol put together, which by the way, I, I would not recommend doing this on your own. Could you figure it out? Yeah, kind of like the Lego set, you could probably eventually put it together by trying a bunch of things. Does this supplement work? Does this food work? Get the testing done and allow a professional to do that. Something we do with all of our clients is we take a team of functional medicine doctors, nutritionists, and trainers to have all that expertise to implement that data for them and tell them exactly what to eat, exactly exactly how to move their body, exactly what supplements to take, exactly how to sleep and recover, what habits they need. We do all that for them. And so for you, I'd recommend, even if it's not for us, find some health professionals that can guide you through that process. Get a trainer to guide you through your workouts or get a nutritionist to set up your, your meal plan. Get a doctor to read through your blood work and tell you, you know, should I be intermittent fasting? What supplements do I need to take? If you're really working all the time, like you say you are, you don't wanna be spending your time on guessing and trying to calculate, ah, oh, how many calories do I need? Like, let someone do that for you. So you can focus on the work or more importantly you can focus on the people you care about and not waste your time trying to calculate how many calories you need on a day-to-day -day basis so get a protocol set up this is really important why because if you fail to plan you plan to fail if you don't have a game plan you can have all the data in the world you want you can understand why it's important but if you don't actually follow a game plan and you have a plan to follow then you're gonna fail and the last thing you want to do if you are working all the time and you want to eat healthy is find ways to put your nutrition on autopilot. You can also do this for your training, but obviously this topic that we're discussing is specifically nutrition here. And the goal is to find ways to, like I said, put it on autopilot, to make it simple, to make it feel like it's done for you and repetitive. For our clients, we do a lot of this for them and we'll send them their food, we'll send them their supplements, we'll schedule their workouts for them, we'll handle the logistics when they travel. But for you, if you're not hiring us and you're not having us do it and you wanna do this yourself, is find ways to create a sustainable cadence that it feels like your nutrition is on autopilot, that your food shows up consistently, whether you order you know, Uber Eats to your office at a certain time every day, that might get a little pricier, so maybe you get prepackaged meal prep that shows up every week, or you have supplements that show up at a certain time every month, or you pre-schedule your Instacart groceries to come, or maybe even just block out every day, every week at the same time, I go do my meal prep. Whatever that is for you is you need to create a sustainable cadence that feels like you're just stepping into the treadmill if this is what I do every single week. That way it's systematized. Some other things you can do specifically around your training, even though this is is not nutrition based, it's just another pro hack that I love to give, is just pre-schedule your workouts. Put them in your calendar like a non-negotiable meeting. Like if you're a business owner and you have a, a finance meeting every week at this time to run through your profit and loss, or run through your margins, or your, you know, whatever statements you're needing to look through to make decisions off of, you do that same thing with your nutrition. You should be planning ahead of time and putting it in your calendar of like, this is the time I eat. And like I said for this one, or this is the time I work out. If you pre-schedule that stuff and make it a non-negotiable meeting, then it becomes a priority. You don't have to think about it. You have to decide every time, should I eat now? Should I go work out? No, it's already pre-decided so that it becomes an autopilot decision for you. So the three-step process, again, in summary is get data, get testing done so that you can make good decisions. Number two is get a protocol or a game plan in place that tells you exactly what to do. And again, don't do that yourself. Hire somebody to do that. 
that, make it easy. If you don't have the disposable income to do it, I'm giving you a free resource in the description below that allow you to get a really simplified version you can implement yourself. And then lastly, once you have the testing and protocol is put it on autopilot, find ways to simplify this for you. Cause the last thing you want to do is to every day decide, do I want to work out today? When am I going to work out? No, because you, you're, you're always going to prioritize other stuff and you're going to put it on the back burner. And so pre-schedule it, put it on autopilot, and make it super easy for you. So if you are a person that works all the time and you want to find ways to eat healthier, first off, understand that healthy is relative. So you need to understand what your body needs by getting that testing, get a protocol in place, put it on autopilot. If you follow those three-step processes, you'll be just like the thousands of clients that we've helped. I've got incredible results, even though they ran massive corporations, even though they were really busy with their family and with travel, it didn't matter why, because they had a really simple process to follow. Hope you can implement that. If you're like you know some of the people that we worked with and you're like, hey, I want good results in less time too, but I don't really know where to start, just click that free resource I mentioned that was in the description below. It's a free ebook that'll tell you exactly how to work out for your body, exactly how to eat for your body, how to get the testing done, and a bunch of other information that you need to get started. So if you want some free resources, click that link below. Thank you so much for tuning into this. I'll see you on the next episode.